I don't even know if this is position right. I'm using my camera that doesn't have the viewfinder, so bear with me here. I can't really see how I look. My other camera is basically dead because I was just using it to film something else. Hi guys, it's Adria, and for today's video, I just wanted to come on here and just chat with you guys. You guys like it when I just chit chat with you, so I have something to say. If you didn't know already, if you follow me on Snapchat, some of you may know about my new vlog channel and there was a bit of some miscommunication about it. Some people were like, why didn't you talk about it in your most recent videos? Those videos were recorded before I made the vlog channel. You know, I have a bunch of, you know, stockpiled pre-recorded videos, much like every other YouTuber does. It's under the name Adria Vlogs. I'll have it at the top of the description box so that you can subscribe to it. Basically, it's just going to be a vlog channel maybe like webcam videos just like things I don't know just more less professional videos than on here yeah this is so professional I know I love vlogging and I love doing it on here but I feel like a lot of you guys don't like that so if you don't like vlogs just stick to here because we'll keep it professional ish if you just love me everyday life vlogs low quality nonsense I don't know go subscribe to my vlog channel and it's also Brandon's vlog channel that's gonna be our shared channel you know like if he just wants Wants to pick up the camera and be like hey guys what's up like you know it can go on there if he wants it to sometimes I'm in a vlogging mood and I'm just like I don't know if my viewers want to see this I actually kind of enjoy people's vlog channels more so than their normal channels I don't know it feels more down to earth talking on your level just you know about everyday life so videos like this like rambly things I think I will still keep here just because you know everybody enjoys those I think I don't know do you guys enjoy these I don't know. Yesterday, this is this is so horrible. 10 out of 10 don't recommend. Yesterday I had to go for a drug test for a job. Yay, a job! Okay, but I'll get into that, okay? But yesterday I went for a drug test and I was so anxious about it that I was like, should I just like have like a tiny bit of the hard lemonade to come down? I'm like, wait, it's a, I'm like, what? No, girl. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know, and then Brandon and I were having this argument like, can they detect alcohol in your blood? In, in your blood, yeah, yeah, I think they can in your blood, uh, in your pee. But either way, I just wouldn't wanna risk it, you know what I mean? It's just like, <sighs> have you guys ever taken a drug test for a job? And if so, was it a lot more strict than you would have imagined? I had never done it before until today, or no, yesterday, what am I saying? It was a lot more strict than I had thought in my head. Like, you know how you, you know, give, pee at the doctor they're just like well let's see if you're healthy and you just go in the bathroom and you're just like here it was so strict and I know why like I'm not you know but I was just a little bit like oh whoa whoa, whoa. I always try to make doctors laugh I don't know because it makes me so anxious at the doctor and normally when I'm anxious I try to be funny to try to just you know like if I can make them laugh get them on my level you know I feel better but she wasn't having any of my my jokes I'm just like really lady. So I had to put my purse in a little locker and like I still had my phone on me right and I and she's like okay rinse your hands off so I put my phone like under my arm and I'm like rinsing my hands under the water and she's like is that your phone? I'm like yeah and then she's like I'm gonna take it and she like took it out from under my wrist I'm like okay and then she's like okay pick a little jar off the shelf I'm like why do I have to can't you just hand me one I, I don't know I guess it's so I can't say oh she rigged my test what I don't know people are crazy so I picked one I'm like you know when you just feel like you're doing something wrong even though there isn't a wrong way of doing it anybody else ever do that I'm just like sometimes I'm just like did I do this right I don't know so then she's like okay when you go in there I have to take the temperature within four minutes so come out as soon as you can don't run the water don't flush don't what do I'm like what? I'm like trying to keep track of my mind, everything that she's saying. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm anxious, I feel like I retain less information. I feel like that's why I didn't always do so well in school, like days where I was super anxious, like I just retained no information. I was just like, wait, did she tell me not to flush? Wait, did she say I could wipe? Can I wipe? Do I have to just not wipe? Did, what do I do? Can I poop in here? I didn't have to poop, by the way, but it's just like, you know, questions running through my head. Oh, and before I went in, she asked me to empty my pockets twice, okay? And I was wearing these same shorts that I'm wearing now. These are just just gym shorts. They have no pockets on them, no button, no zipper, no nothing. They're just little stretchy gym shorts. And I'm just like, I don't have any pockets. She asked me twice, girl. I don't think she believed me that I didn't have pockets. I even lifted my shirt. I showed that girl my belly button. I'm like, I don't have pockets. <laughs> what do you want? It's like, although, you know, I could have snuck something in my bra if I was that desperate to. Would people do that? And I know the answer is yes. It's kind of a rhetorical question, but I don't know, girl. I mean, that's just a little like, <laughs> and I don't know why, like the whole time I just felt like I was going to get in trouble. I felt like I was, ugh. 
and I was a bit self-conscious of my pee. Do you ever do that at the doctor where it's just like, oh my gosh, it looks a little dark. I'm just like, oh my gosh, she's gonna think I'm dehydrated. She's gonna think I'm nasty. Anybody else? Like, it's like, why am I feeling self-conscious about my urine? Really, Adria, why? But <laughs> I had never done that before and it was really like nerve wracking, but I just have to say, if you ever have to do it, you know, just, just calm down, it's okay. So yeah, I think I have this new job, like I haven't heard from them yet, but you know, I'm pretty sure once they do the drug test type thing, that means you're, you're, you're in, you know, they wouldn't bother with that if they weren't interested in me. I am not gonna disclose on YouTube where I will be working because at my last job, I think some of you guys knew where I worked. I, you know, was off for a few days or I think I was visiting with my family. I like went out of the state for like a week. Uh, when I came back, one of my coworkers who was my friend, she was like, do you know someone by this name? And I'm like, no. And she's like, oh, well they were calling and asking for you. And then they called, I picked up the phone and they called me they were like, is Adria there? And it was like a young girl voice. And I was just like, oh, wait a minute. I know what's happening here. And it was um, a phone number from out of the area. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I wouldn't want people to know where I work. Again, I know it was no like ill intention. I know she probably just wanted to say hi to me. Uh, but I just, I, I was like, no, Adria's not here. I'm sorry. Like trying to disguise my voice. I'm so sorry. You know, if that was you, you know, you actually were talking to me, but it's just like, oh my gosh. I, I kind of choked up and I didn't really know what to say. I got kind of scared. I don't know. It was just kind of weird when, you know, someone you didn't give a number to finds out where you work and it's just, I don't know. It wasn't creepy. I mean, it was like a little girl, but at the same, it just, it just didn't feel right. I don't think that you should call someone at their place of work. You know, and I'm not like famous, like, you know, stalkers and, you know, I need security and I, you know, no one can know where I live. But at the same time, like, I have to protect myself and I have to protect, like, you know, coworkers of mine. I wouldn't want someone just crazy to just come walking in trying to meet me and then put other people through some nonsense. Like, I don't know. I just, I just want to keep it, like, on the down low so I mean I don't know I just really don't want to disclose like where I work and that's another reason why I left my job was because I mean I didn't really like that people knew where I worked on the internet I don't know it just kind of felt kind of you know like someone could just walk in and be like oh my gosh I love you and then my coworkers would be like what's happening um that brings me to a question I was thinking about today and no I don't want you guys to think like oh I don't want to meet you guys oh I don't want you guys to ever find me or see me or anything like that like no but it's just different when you're working when your information is just public to anybody like to literally anybody especially you know when I already put my life on the internet as it is you know I just like to keep some things private and I think that it would just be safer to just not disclose where I work. I was thinking about this earlier because I had a dream last night. I was, I think I was back in high school, but there was like a little girl there for some reason and she was like crying and like she came up to me and she's like, I love your baby. And like, I just hugged her and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. But here's my question for you, okay? And I definitely want an answer for you. If you've never commented on a video of mine before, here is your big break, honey. If, <laughs> if, you saw me just like, I don't know, like grocery shopping, walking down the street, at the mall, at the airport, any, like if you saw me somewhere, would you come say hi to me? Because I was thinking about this myself, like if I saw somebody I knew or recognize, I'm not even saying like someone famous, cause I'm not famous, but just someone you recognize, you know, like even, like I watch smaller YouTubers, I love smaller channels, that's a whole other thing, but you know, like if I saw even like someone with like a hundred subscribers that I knew, I would be like, Oh my gosh, I recognize you, you're, you're, and I would, you know, make a big deal out of it. But I've never been in that situation, so I don't know if I would go and say hi to them. So I'm asking you that. Like, if you saw me, would you feel comfortable enough to say hi to me? And also, like, I don't know if I should be the one to ask for the picture, because the one girl I met at MegaCon, whoever, I, like, I, I loved that experience. To this day, I still tell people about that. So I, I, about, like, the work thing, I don't want anyone to think that I don't want to meet people. I don't, you know, whatever. The girl I met at MegaCon, like, I asked her if she wanted a picture. And I was like, like, am I supposed to do that? I don't know, because I was just, you know, I was afraid maybe she wouldn't ask. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is, like, my first time meeting someone like I need a photo of this so let me know if you would say hi to me 
if you would because I personally it, it doesn't even happen often people are like well what do you do when people recognize you it doesn't happen a lot it really does because I'm kind of recluse so I don't really go anywhere it doesn't happen all that often but when it does I love it oh my gosh there was a co-worker of mine who had just started working at my at my last job but she was like a friend of mine watches your videos she was like oh yeah I'm working with Adria tonight she's like wait do you say Adria? And she's like, yeah. She's like, oh man, she'll love her videos. And here, that girl came into my work and I didn't know it was her. I was like, oh my gosh, I love your outfit. And here, you know, she knew who I was and I didn't even know it, but like complimenting her. I don't always compliment people either, but her outfit was really cute. I feel like I'm rambling. I feel like I'm talking really fast. That's just a general question. And like, again, like, you know, she knew I was and she was at my work and you know, I mean, like, that's fine. I mean, if you just so happen to stumble into my new job and know who I am, like, I'm fine with that, but I just don't want to be like, hey guys, I work here in this town, like, you know, because you just look up the phone number and just blow up the number all day, which happened at my old job, so I, I don't know, I, <laughs> I don't even want to say for safety reasons or, like, confidentiality, like, I don't even know what to say, but just, you know, for privacy purposes, I guess, and for my new job, I feel like the interview went, excuse me. <laughs> I feel like the interview went bad. I don't know why like the whole time I was just so anxious and just so like I haven't been interviewed in like two years so it's been a while since I've done this so I was just like <sighs> um but it was really nerve-wracking especially when they're like why do you think you would be a good asset to our company it's just like bro I need a job like <laughs> what like what are you talking about I don't know why, like we'll find out. Like this is trial and error here, sweetie. I don't know. I felt like it went bad. Like I was even like crying, texting my mom about it like the next day, just like saying, I think I did so bad. Like, I don't think they're gonna contact me. Like just criticizing everything. But here they're like, hey, come do a drug test. And I I'm very quick to judge myself. I'm very quick to hate myself. I'm very quick to be like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have said that, I shouldn't have done that. When he asked me, like, he's like, tell me about yourself. That is what I dread, girl. I was so close to saying I make YouTube videos. I was so close, like, it was in my mind. It was, like, right there. And I was like, no, don't say it, because he'll go home and he'll look me up, and then he'll be like, Dear Lord of mercy, I cannot hire this girl. <laughs> Although I don't I don't care if he finds out on his own that, but I just didn't want to be like, hey, I'm a YouTuber, go look me up. I don't know, I, I was close, but I didn't do it. I was, oh my gosh. But anyway, oh, you guys also had some questions for me about my fingers. Uh, my fingers are mostly healed now. I don't know if, yeah, my thumb, this finger was bad, and then my middle finger was bad. And oh, do you like my nail polish? I just did them today, it looks cute. I never bite my nails really, I mean I used to have a bad, but I'm more of a picker, but I just bit them, okay? Brandon cringes at nail file sounds, like he just doesn't like it. So we were in the car and my nail was like uneven and that just bugs me, I don't know why I can't just leave that alone. So I'm like, just biting it and then you know when you just slip and go too far with pulling it and then like half your skin is hanging off and then you're just kind of like both my middle finger and this thumb got a horrible bacterial infection which probably one of the most painful things I've ever experienced. I know in my q and I said the most painful thing I've ever done is pulling my hamstring but this was probably Get out of here, fly. One of them. I was just like, okay, they'll get better on their own, whatever, you know, I've had infections before, I'll take care of them, I'll wrap them up, I'll soak them, whatever. One day, Brandon, um, like, I was like tickling him with this hand. <laughs> Why would I tickle someone with my sore hand, you tell me? And he like slapped my hand away. I started crying. And it was just a little like, you know, like you're tickling someone, they go, crying. It hurt so bad, just Felt like he had ripped my fingers off from the bone, girl. And then my mom started freaking out. When I sent her a picture of my fingers, she was like, Adria, and then she calls me and is like saying, you need to go to the hospital, like now, you could lose your fingers. They look pretty bad. Like, I, that's why I kept them wrapped up. I didn't want any of you guys to see them. They were bad, bad, like pus and red and swollen. I'm sorry if this is gross. You can fast forward 20 seconds. Pus and blood and gross and swollen and tender and crusty. And Brandon and I were doing research. We figured out what it was. And then when I went to urgent care, the doctor told me exactly what we had found out. I had to take an antibiotic for like twice a day for 10 days. They just finally healed. And it's been, I think tomorrow it'll be three weeks. Yeah, three weeks ago tomorrow was when they started. And like they are just 
now better. That was horrible. And I was actually like afraid I was gonna lose my fingers. I know that sounds a bit dramatic, but I saw like worst case scenario stories where they get worse and people losing their fingertips. I'm just like, oh my gosh, what if that happens to me? Can I be a YouTuber with no fingertips? You know, dramatic. I know. I had never been to urgent care before. Let me know if you've ever been to urgent care, but waited there for three hours. When the lady at the desk told me, okay, it's probably gonna be a two or three hour wait. I'm thinking like, okay, they're just saying that. So, you know, it was three hours. That was the longest three hours of my life. And I was just like saying, I feel like I was born here. I feel like I've never been anywhere else besides the urgent care waiting room. And there was a guy in the waiting room who was so pissed off, like just so pissed off and like he just got there he threw the pen on the counter and the woman was like can you pick that up please i don't understand why people do that i don't know like i'm just a very non-confrontational person like, okay like this is fine i mean like they could tell me it'll be 24 hours and i would still just be like okay and you know what i mean like inside i'll be pissed off but I'm like, okay, you know, it's their job to tell me that. It's not their fault. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I'm not one of those people that just complains about stuff. I don't know. That's why I complain on YouTube. It's only, like, oh, you complain in your videos all the time. Because I don't do it in my everyday life. I'm very just like, you know, go with the flow and let my rage build up and then come release it on YouTube. That's the story of my life. So, <laughs> okay, well, Easter just passed about a week ago. I'm not going to sing that song. I'm just, I'm not. But oh, it grew. It was very, it probably the most uneventful Easter of my life. I don't know, like my family, we've always gone all out for Easter. My sisters and I, we had little sequin purses and like little Easter dresses. I'm just like, yes, queen. This Easter, I literally legitimately did nothing. But I think I was sick on Easter. I don't know, my allergies kind of make me sick. I played Grand Theft Auto a lot that day, which I know is like, oh, Easter Sunday. Oh my gosh, I'm killing people, but. You know, it happens. Oh, that reminds me, the day before Easter, we had a really bad storm that night, and Miranda and I, we were watching Rick and Morty, my new, I love that show. If you've never watched it, you should probably go watch it, if you're old enough to. The lightning struck something, and it shocked his PlayStation and our internet, and our internet has been out for like a week. Although we have like a backup internet thing with Xfinity, whatever, I don't know, they have like a backup network, whatever. So his PlayStation has been busted, and our Wi-Fi has been busted, so I'm just like, what is happening? I felt so bad, but he didn't, he wasn't sad. Like he went over to his mom's house to test the PlayStation to see if it was broken, and I stayed here. And when he came back, I was just all like, I'm so sorry. He's like, what are you sorry for? Brandon is the most go with the flow person I have ever known. Like he just, I don't know, life doesn't phase him in that way. Even though he has like social anxiety like I do, I don't know, he's just, he doesn't complain. He doesn't, you know, like, oh my gosh, my life is so bad, you know. That's one of my favorite things about Brandon. I just love how he just, he doesn't care, you know. Even when life poops on his parade, he's just like, okay. Yeah, definitely taking a page out of his book. Oh, also, our three-year anniversary was last weekend. And if you guys want to see a vlog from that, you can go over to our new vlog channel. Link in the description. I probably just sounded so, like, first world pro, but I don't know. Like, it just, it, it was a weird day. And he was like, today is weird. We both agreed to not get each other presents. Like, we just didn't want to put out the money. And we were just like, no. Am I the only one that when we say, okay, no presents, like, part of me is still kind of expecting them to do something? Because I feel like that always happens. You know what I mean? But there was no pre- And I, I, I'm glad. Because if he had gotten me something and I didn't get him something, I would have felt really guilty. I would have been like, no. I don't know, especially with like being out of work, I've just been like, oh my gosh, save all the money. And it was funny, I was gonna draw him a picture, but the week flew by. And I told him that, I was like, the night before our anniversary, I was like, I was gonna draw you a picture this week, but I lost track of what day of the week it was. And he just started cracking up, like he was so amused by that. He was like, I love that, that is so freaking funny. Yeah, I wanted to draw him as One Punch Man and me as Genos, and I thought that that would be cute. He was like, He's like, wait, like you as a guy? I'm like, he's like, wait, so we're gay? I'm like, no, me as like a gender bent Genos, okay? Envision it, boy, like be an artist for two seconds of your life. Also, Frida has been a problem child lately. I feel like she has reached the stage of being like a toddler. Like, I don't know, I, like before she was a baby, she loved cute, like we love, and now she's a toddler and like we just hate her. And I looked this up, but she hasn't been using her litter box lately, number one. Uh, though yesterday she used it, so I'm like, okay. Number two, 
this is this is worse than pee on the floor for me she has been digging her face into my zen garden you remember my little my little beach zen garden hold on i'll show you i don't know if she thinks this is a second litter box i don't know what she wants with that but all i know is i'm not a happy camper i love this zen garden also let me know if you guys want me to try to do asmr videos i don't know if you guys would be interested in that but i did a video before of my zen garden you guys said it was like asmr -y. it was kind of the vibe i was going for to be honest but i wasn't like oh labeling this is asmr but you know if you guys want me to do Zen Garden ASMR, let me know. I'll do it. Uh, anything else ASMR? Because I love ASMR. I don't know. I've been getting into it lately, and I just, I love it. I don't even know how long this video is, to be honest. Yeah, I have more videos coming soon. I have to go check my P.O. box. I um, have, like, a deal with Squishable coming soon. I'm... Squishable contacted me and I was screaming. I was just like, yes, because you remember my Squishable unboxing? I even said like, Squishable, if you want to sponsor me, they contacted me. Like, dreams are possible, girl. Reach for the stars because it's possible. So, um, I should have Squishable coming soon, which I'm going to tie into um, a funny video, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Definitely more P.O. Box hauls coming. I just haven't gotten around to getting my, to my P.O. Box recently. I still have some old mail, so if you sent me mail, don't worry, I have it. It's fine. It's not open yet. I have more stories coming for you guys. <laughs> and about my clickbait title, like, oh, like, kidnapped in Philly. Like, um, I had no clue what to call that video. And I told Brandon what I wanted to call the video, and he was like, that's, like, the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I was like, okay, well, then tell me, you know. We joke that Brandon's my manager because he kind of helps me with, like, video ideas and, you know, like, what to name things. I'm so bad at thinking of titles for things. Even in my childhood, I would write a book. I used, I used to write books all the time. I would never know what to call it. I would write an entire book and it wouldn't even have a name. So, I don't know. I'm just bad at titling stuff. I don't even know what I'm going to title this. I'll probably just title it, like, useless damn nonsense. I don't know. But <laughs> I, I had no clue what to title it. And Brandon's just like, oh, was I kidnapped in Philly? I'm like, Brandon, that is so clickbait. And he's just like, just do it. I'm like, okay. But if this video gets 800 likes... I probably won't do anything, but, like, let's just try. Uh, yeah, that's it for this little ramble. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yeah, if you don't do anything else, uh, check out my vlog channel. I would love for you guys to check that out. Also, you can check out Brandon's channel. His video of his ghost encounter is coming soon. I've been on him about it. Don't worry, Instagram people. I have your back. I have seen your comments on his page. I know you guys want to hear it, and Brandon's ghost story is legit scarier than all of mine. Like, it literally scares me, so it's coming. Yeah, follow me on all of my social media down below. I've been a bit more active on Twitter lately, so, you know, get on that Twitter swag. Uh, yeah, I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, Panda Hugs, I love you guys. 